Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staber, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. A new report from the CDC says that most teenagers are not having sex and that abstinence does work. I am Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action and associate dean for the law school. Matt, this is a new report that just came out from the Center for Disease Control, headquartered in Atlanta. And this is the organization that does all the research and data on various kinds of diseases, including uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Their new data says that the majority of teens are not having sex. Thus, it appears that abstinence education and the message that it has is, in fact, working. It's taking root, you know, and and those who mock and and try to malign abstinence education and promote so-called comprehensive sex education, which is simply adults promoting and indoctrinating children into all form of of sexual sexual behavior. Uh, Since uh, the inception of comprehensive sex education, we have seen STD numbers and uh, teen pregnancy sky rocket as kids are essentially being told wink wink nod nod we know you're going to do it anyway so hey here's how you do it uh well as we've seen the pushback on that has been abstinence education and the more abstinence education is used now the cdc confirms it works and this is according to a 2006 through 2008 survey resulted it showed uh that the Nash, uh, that 68% of boys and 67% of girls between the ages of 15 and 17 uh, are not having sexual intercourse or have never had sexual intercourse. That is a, a tremendous move in the right direction from previous statistics. Yeah, it really is. And the findings come, as you mentioned, from the 2006-2008 National Survey of Family Growth. And they examined the responses from 13,495 teens and adults ages 15 through 44, including 5,082 individuals from the age of 15 to 24. And according to uh, this particular survey, it clearly shows that the vast majority of teens are not engaging in sexual activity. Uh, Thus, abstinence education is working, and that's the best and only way to prevent these sexually transmitted diseases, emotional and other physical consequences that come from having sexual activity outside of marriage, especially at such a young age. Yeah, this is stuff, it seems like a no-brainer. You know, this is common sense stuff. It's kind of the analogy I've used in the past is, you know, if you want to avoid a headache or you want to avoid brain damage, you don't run head first into a brick wall. Well, you know, we have one side that says parents, adults, teachers tell these kids don't engage in the behaviors that can cause you to become pregnant or get a sexually transmitted disease. Kids look to adults as role models. They look to adults for teaching, for permission to do things that their their urges and inclinations uh, might be uh, uh, pushing them toward uh, versus the other side that says, sure, go ahead and do it. Just be sure to, to use so-called safe sex, which is a misnomer. There is no such uh, thing. So uh, again, our our side, uh, the statistics bear out, the facts and the science bears out the reality that abstinence education works, and that is the only, abstinence is the only way to ensure prevention of sexually transmitted disease and teen pregnancy. Valerie Huber of the National Abstinence Education Association remarked that these numbers are obviously a positive change from 2002. In 2002, you had only 46% of boys and 49% of girls report that they had no sexual contact, and thus uh, the report challenges the wisdom of the most recent Obama's administration's cuts to abstinence education. She also goes on to say 169 abstinence education programs have lost funding under President Obama, who has cut all funding for abstinence education, and obviously he's increased funding for Planned Parenthood and abortion, both in the District of Columbia and around the world. And she says over one million students have lost access to these very programs that can support and encourage the positive trends that are represented in this new survey from 2006 to 2008. 
Man, th- those are incredible numbers uh, from 2002 to 2006 through 2008. That is a 20 percent, over a 20 percent increase in kids who are saying that they are no longer or, or are not or are choosing to wait and abstain from sexual behavior. And it is because of and it can be shown demonstrably that it is because of abstinence education. So it is not just misguided and ill-advised of this administration to cut funding for that which is working, uh, I think it's unconscionable that they would do this. And, you know, of course, President Obama gets elected in 2008, so between 2008 and 2010, or between 2008 and 2012, we don't know what that is going to show. But what we do know is when President Bush was president and the abstinence education programs were funded, therefore we see a huge difference between 2002, two years after he became president, And 2008, when he left the presidency, those last two years show a huge change in teenage sexual activity. And obviously the abstinence education has worked. But now the funds have been cut off. President Obama says no more abstinence education. And he's pushing all the other kinds of things through Kevin Jennings and the Safer Schools Czar, so-called who wants to radicalize and sexualize uh, children in the uh, younger grades as well, promoting Planned Parenthood. This administration is completely to the contrary. What's ultimately going to happen is our children are going to suffer uh, for this kind of reckless activity, and America will suffer as well. We've gone from that, which has uh, proven to work, it cut 169 abstinence education programs funding and uh, for over a million students who have lost access to the programs that have proven to work. And in, that, in the place, as you mentioned, people like Kevin Jennings, founder of GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network, uh, Planned Parenthood and other sexual anarchist groups are now have access to your children and are teaching your kids literally that anything goes. If it feels good, do it. There is no possible uh, clear line of demarcation between what is right or what is wrong in terms of sexual behavior. If it feels good, do it. Uh, that That is tragic that we now have uh, these people uh, with access to our kids indoctrinating them into the very behaviors that can, can, can destroy their lives. Well, and if you think that Planned Parenthood is just this uh, generic uh, organization that is interested in the well-being of women and their health, uh, think again, do a little bit more digging about Planned Parenthood. Look, take a look at uh, Lila Rose in live action in the undercover videos that Lila has recently made available, and you can find that on Liberty Council's website as well uh, by going to lc.org and then searching for live action or Planned Parenthood. You'll be able to find the link to those videos. But they're shocking videos uh, where Planned Parenthood is conspiring with uh, pedophiles to have uh, that pedophilia or that sex with children yeah. covered up. And Planned Parenthood also, a recent report came out in New Jersey where they conducted a conference and many teachers were present. You can't even on the air, because you'd be fined if you did, actually talk about even the titles of these presentations because they are so outrageous. Uh, and this is uh, now an opportunity for us to defund Planned Parenthood. The House has voted to defund it. That goes to the Senate. And uh, that needs to be something that the Senate does. Defunding Planned Parenthood, we need to also then go back and reemphasize abstinence education. Think about that for a minute. <clears throat> the organization uh, that is teaching your children, providing the curriculum to teach your children about sex, uh, is an organization that covers up systematically uh, uh, sexual predators, uh, child sexual abuse, and even child sex trafficking. As a matter of, of behind the scenes, that Lila Rose said, Seven different Planned Parenthood locations around the country. I I say that's uh, systemic. You know, fool me once, but fool me seven times. Uh, These are the people uh, who are teaching your children uh, about sex, people who literally cover up and apparently tacitly approve of adult child sex relationships. And and this is not just the birds and the bees type of uh, sexual activity or sexual behavior. This is just. All forms of perversion. Yeah. All forms of perversion. I mean, you would be embarrassed. 
uh, we would be fined if we even described what happened in New Jersey uh, because it is so outrageous. And they're teaching teachers how to teach your kids. Uh, we need to do a couple of things. You can go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org, and you can uh, sign a petition that we have to defund Planned Parenthood. Uh, that has already passed in the House, and now the Senate is uh, to vote on that as well. Secondly, you can uh, make an online credit card contribution to support Liberty Council in the ministry of advancing liberty, life, and family. You can go to lc.org, make an online credit card contribution right there on the website. You can also uh, order the book, The Patriot's Handbook. This Patriot's Handbook has the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, and it also has Patrick Henry, Henry's famous speech, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. Go to lc.org today. That's lc.org. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom. 